dream with me tonight Let's go to far off places And search for treasures bright Come dream with me tonight Let's build a giant airship And sail into the sky Let's watch the ground so far below Let's watch the birds as they fly by Fly so high Come dream with me tonight Come on! Grubby! Teddy, my feet are getting sore. I must have stepped on every rock between Rolonia and here. You didn't tell me adventure seeking would be this hard on my feet. Yes, Grubby. You do have a lot of feet to worry about. So this is the land of Grundo. It sure is strange looking. It certainly is a lot different from Rolonia. I'll say, Teddy. And now that we've seen it, maybe we ought to go back to where we came from. But Grubby, we can't go back now. We've waited years to look for the treasure of Grundo. Gee, I guess that does sound like fun, if you like that sort of thing, which I don't. You just have to have the right attitude, Grubby. <laughs> Uh-oh, dangerous creatures. Let's get out of here. <laughs> they don't look very dangerous to me. In fact, they look kind of friendly. We See, Grubby? There's nothing to be afraid of. Well, I can't help it if things make me nervous. But just think, Grubby. You might be the first octopede to ever have a real adventure. Hmm. Well, okay. But at least let's stop and rest. My feet hurt. <laughs> my feet hurt, too. But I've got eight of them. That means my feet hurt, uh, four times worse than yours do. All in favor of stopping, raise your hands. <laughs> the majority rules. You win, Grubby. We'll stop and rest. I'm glad we stopped. It gives me a chance to cook up some roasted roots. What do you think of them? Well, um, they're, uh, interesting. <laughs> I knew you'd like them. <laughs> you missed. Fine bunch of bounders you turn out to be. You can't even catch a couple of unwelcome intruders. We try, LB. Well, you didn't try hard enough. Now get those two. Yeah, right, LB. Let's get out of here, Grubby. Hey, that's funny. Suddenly my feet aren't tired anymore. <laughs> These branches will make excellent firewood. Yeah, here's a good one. Oh, I wonder what's making that dreadful racket. Look out! These things are after us! Take that, and this. And here's one for you. Horrid little bounders. Thank you, sir. You saved our lives. That sure was brave of you. <laughs> Think nothing of it. I do the same for any guests of mine. Guests? Why, certainly. Anyone coming through Gimmicks Valley must be coming to see me. 
My name is uh, uh, Newton Gimmick, but everybody just calls me Gimmick. <laughs> I'm an inventor. Hello, I'm Teddy Ruxpin. Say, aren't you an Iliop? Yes, hmm. I am. I don't believe I've ever seen an Iliop before. This is my friend, Grubby. He's an octopede. <laughs> well, I know I've never seen an octopede before. It's a pleasure to shake your hand. That happens to be my foot, but it's nice to meet you, too. Yeah, why don't we all go over to my place for a bite of lunch? Okay. Grubby and I came all the way from Rolonia on a great adventure. A great adventure? Well, tell me all about it. Well, it all started when I found this map. to do was drive Gimmick out of the valley. Oh, can't you do anything? Will you speak up? I can't understand a word you're saying. Oh, so you've got a stick in your mouth, too, huh? <laughs> what do you mean, can't I do anything, Tweez? How long have you been trying to get rid of Gimmick? Never mind that. And the name is Tweeg. T-W-E-E-G. Tweeg! Oh, I guess you're not interested in my news. What news? Gimmick's got a couple of visitors, and one of them's an Iliop. Visitors? An Iliop? That can only mean one thing. They're after my secret formula for making gold out of buttermilk. I knew it. I knew it. They're forming an army to attack me and steal my gold formula. LB? Get down there and find out what's going on. I'll be do this. I'll be do that. How come I gotta do all of his dirty work? Now I'll teach Gimmick a lesson. What was that? Oh, nothing. It's just Tweeg firing his cannon at us. At us? Oh, don't worry. Tweeg is without a doubt the world's worst shot. If he's firing at us, this is probably the safest place in the valley to be. You see? <laughs> We're perfectly safe. If you say so, Gimmick. Maybe you'd like to take a look at this treasure map. Oh, by all means. The treasure seems to be somewhere here in the hard to find city. <laughs> There's something else, Gimmick. This strange medallion was with the map. Looks more like half a medallion to me. Hmm, how decidedly odd. I wonder what these words mean. Spirit? Treasure? Ledge? I don't know, but I have a feeling the answer lies at the top of the treacherous mountains. Come with me. <laughs> I think my new invention might be very useful. Ah, yes. Here it is. I call it an airship. Kinda looks like a boat to me. Not only is Gimmick forming an army, now he's got a navy, too! I see Tweeg is still at it. <laughs> Rat! I missed again! Ah, uh, yes. Uh, now, with this airship, we can float right up to the top of the treacherous mountain. That's wonderful, Gimmick. And you'll be welcome to share in the treasure, if we're lucky enough to find it, that is. Very well. Start putting some wood into the stove while I go and get some supplies. Let's see. We'll need the vertical disseminator, the solar distributor, the twitch reducer, the calibrating stub, the astronomical simplifier, the hyperbolic modifying unit, and, oh, and some grundleberry muffins. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> With one well-aimed shot, I'll take care of Gimmick's army and navy. Ow! Oh, 
Oh, that nincompoop LB never mixes the gunpowder right. I've got to do everything myself. Gimmick and his friends will never know what hit them. LB, I might have known you'd be at the bottom of this. What again? Why am I always pulling things out of your mouth? I'm a villain, not a dentist. Well, you're gonna be a rich villain. Look at what this is. A treasure map. You found a treasure map. Ha ha! The treasure of Grundle will be mine at last. You're welcome, Twink. Now remember, all you have to do is slip this <laughs> phony map to gimmick to throw him off the trail while you and I locate the treasure with the real map. Now get bounding! Hey, Teddy, it's working. Ah, yes, just as I expected. Make sure all the tether lines are tight. Uh, everyone get aboard. Uh, I can't find the treasure map. Hmm. Or well, maybe I left the map in the house. I'll go see. Just keep filling the airbag. This'll be like giving candy to a baby. Ah, here it is. <laughs> I guess I must have dropped it. <laughs> that fog brain crackpot fell for it. <laughs> All right, crew. Let's cast off the line. Aye, aye, gimmick. The forward line is cast off. Same goals for the aft line, gimmick. Just love all this boat talk. Your invention works, gimmick. We're actually flying. <laughs> of course! It's the law of thermogravitational ascension. It, uh, you see, when the air is heated, it rises, causing a vertical lifting force, consequently pulling the airship into the sky. Sounds like this isn't the only thing that works in hot air. How do you steer this thing, gimmick? Hmm. <laughs> I never thought about that. Well, you better start thinking fast, Gimmick, because we're heading for that big tree over there. Whoa! Oh, is everyone all right? Uh, I think so. Are you okay, Grubby? I don't know. I can't see anything. That's probably because your feet are covering your eyes. Oh. in my tree. Huh? Who said that? I said that, and I'll say it again. Just what do you think you're doing in my tree? Hey, would you look at that? <laughs> what is it? I'm a wood sprite. Oh, no. There is no such thing as a wood sprite. Oh, no? And I suppose there's no such thing as a big bag of air stuck in my tree. But there it is, big as life. Gimmick, if she says she's a wood sprite, then I guess she is a wood sprite, and a very pretty one at that. Well, how about moving this big... Oh, uh, do you really think I'm pretty? Oh, yes, I certainly do. Oh, <laughs> aren't you sweet? And who are you? Well, I'm Teddy Ruxpin, and this is Grubby, and this is Newton Gimmick. My name is Leota. I'm pleased to meet you, and I'm sorry if we've damaged your tree. Oh, that's all right. Is there anything I can do to help? Well, I'm not sure. You do understand the simple basics of aerodynamics, don't you? Now, see here, you little sprout. Uh, uh, sprite? There's nothing you can teach me about flying. Oh, no? Watch this. Bye. 
by all means, <laughs> Professor. <laughs> <laughs> now, in order for your airship to move in any given direction, you must apply a force in the opposite direction, such as this large manually driven propeller. <laughs> Whatever you say, Leota. Teddy, you'll get more vertical lift if you shorten these straps. Sure thing, Leota. Grubby, you start hammering this new mast into place. Aye, aye, Leota. Ow! Oh. Now, try to remember everything I taught you about flying. <laughs> we won't forget, I assure you. Why don't you come with us, Leota? I'm sure there's enough treasure for all of us. Yeah, I'll even help carry your share of it. Your aeronautic know-how would certainly come in handy up there in the treacherous mountains. Thanks, but I have all the treasures I need right here. Besides, a scientist like you wouldn't want to be seen with a creature that doesn't exist, would you? Well, uh, that is... <laughs> 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 Come and discover the world with me There are lots of people we can meet Lots of things to see So come and discover the world with me It's a world full of wonders And it's here for you and me Come and discover the world with me My friend my friend! <laughs> that fool gimmick and his friends have been thrown well off course by now. Leaving the treasure of Grundo for me and you. Yeah, but mostly for you. Stop complaining, you ungrateful lout. I told you we'd be the equal partners. So how come I'm doing all the pulling and you're doing all the sitting? Because I've got to rest my brains. I'm the thinking partner. Are we at the hard-to-find city yet? Heavens no. We barely made it to Bogley Woods, let alone Woodley Bog. What's that strange-looking crack in the earth, Gimmick? Oh, oh that's Trembly Falls. Trembly Falls? We should be over the moss forest. No, we've been heading in the wrong direction. Huh, you know, there's something different looking about this map. No wonder. It's a counterfeit. You mean it's a phony? Precisely. Every landmark on it is in the wrong place. Ooh, I'll bet that scoundrel Tweed had something to do with this. LB, you imbecile! What made you run away from those fobs? Because they're always so helpful and friendly and loyal. I hate that in an animal. Phew. What's that down below, Gimmick? It looks like the Great Desert. Great Desert? Oh boy, let's stop and get some. Not dessert, Grubby, a desert. It's a great, big, empty place. Sounds like the inside of my stomach. You think we'll make it safely across, Gimmick? There's nothing to worry about. It will be fine as long as our firewood holds out. Then this had better be a slow-burning log. It's our last one. Ooh. Oh, me, oh, my, we're losing altitude fast. Teddy, there's a little secret I have to let you in on. What's that, Grubby? I hate adventure. Uh, hang on, everybody.
everybody, we're about to crash! In our next episode, Gimmick Grubby and I fly the airship to the hard-to-find city, but we have some unexpected adventures along the way, including a crash landing in the middle of the Great Desert and an earthquake. We almost lose Grubby. Gimmick thinks of a clever plan to save us, but then we meet some very strange creatures made out of mud, all in our next exciting episode. See you then! Teddy Ruxpin. I'm going to have my own series next year. Come join me and my friends for more exciting adventures very soon. <laughs>